Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. And today I wanna to share with you three things, three things I've learned about water that have made me a better fish keeper. Let's go ahead and get into it now. Item number one, beneficial bacteria is not in the water column. I've had so many folks tell me that they filled a new tank with water from an old tank. The fish that they put into it seemed to do okay and then after a few days died off. The reason is, is that in the water column there is some bacteria but not much. Certainly as tanks mature, I've heard that uh, uh, a greater abundance of bacteria might exist in the water column. But still, I would not trust that to start up a new tank. You need other sources of beneficial bacteria, whether it be bacteria in a bottle or media from an established uh, filter from an established tank. Uh, but the water itself is not gonna contain enough bacteria to get a new tank going. And what's going to happen is those fish are gonna look okay for a day or two. And then as their waste, from food and poop and everything else starts to build up ammonia, you're gonna have an ammonia spike that um, is out of control because there isn't enough bacteria to consume it and to convert it through nitrite and into nitrate, the less harmless nitrate, and your fish are going to start to, to struggle and eventually die off. So, rule number one, the first thing I learned about water that was very helpful is that there is not uh, a abundant amount of beneficial bacteria in the water column. Number two, pristine, crystal clear, floating in air, perfectly clean looking water is not necessarily healthy water. If that was the case, if clean water was healthy water, you could just fill up a tank and throw fish in. So don't uh, don't be fooled because the tank looks clean. I've had so many people tell me, I just did a water change, the tank looks perfect, why are my fish dying? You really, really, especially in a tank that isn't mature, is relatively new, you really have to be testing and testing fairly frequently. If you don't want to put the time in to do a, uh, a complete API master freshwater test kit uh, process, get some test strips. Uh, a lot of companies make them, Aquarium Co-op, Sara, uh, Tetra, a lot of folks make these test trips and they'll give you an idea of where you stand. But water can look beautiful and kill all your fish because of a chloramine, chlorine, ammonia, nitrite, something in it that you can't see with your eye but is deadly to the fish. So clean looking water is not necessarily healthy water. Point number three, and perhaps the most important point, is this. It starts at the tap. Where your aquariums end up, uh, ultimately how they do after water changes, and uh, the ongoing care and maturity of your tanks, a lot of it has to do with what's going on, what's coming out of the tap. So, from time to time, test your tap water see what's coming out of there. And here in, uh, in, the, in Tennessee, we get some very, very good water, almost test zero on chlorine, chloramine, uh, zero on nitrate, and it's just very, very good water. Here's a pro bonus tip. Test your water at the temperature that you wanna run it into the aquarium. Because you might have different kinds of things coming in from your hot water line different from what's coming in on your cold water line. So go ahead and test it that way. And that way you'll be sure this is 79.9. So be sure to uh, be sure to test it using both lines. And you can use something as simple as an aquarium co-op test strip. That'll, that'll tell you what you need. Be sure your hands are dry when you go in here. Someone suggested we cut the strips in half. I mean, it comes out to like a hundredth of a penny per strip. I don't think that matters. These need to be uh, under 
the water for 10 seconds. And you let them sit for a minute, don't shake off the water, and then you'll get your test results. You can also test for ammonia using a different strip. These are the ammonia test strips. Definitely see if you've got ammonia coming out of your tap. Your uh, water conditioner should neutralize that, but it'd be good to know if you're getting ammonia. This is a different kind of strip. It requires uh, a different amount of time. And I believe this one is just, you just dip it in for like a second and you're pretty much ready to go. Remove the test strip from the aquarium and compare immediately to the color chart. So test for ammonia as well. This is gonna save you a lot of guesswork and a lot of scratching your head about what's going on. I've got zero nitrates, zero nitrite. Very hard at about uh, closer to 300 on hardness. The, K, uh, the KH is in the medium range. That's good, normally it tests out low. And the, uh, it's hard to read here, let's see. It's kind of pink, so it's kind of getting into the seven. Yeah, it's more pink than orange. So I'd say the pH is closer to eight. That's not bad. It used to be closer to seven too. And you can see chlorine. Chlorine is next to, is almost zero. It's lighter than, than 0.8, closer to zero. But overall, I've got nothing to complain about. This water is amazing. All my fish have pretty much acclimated to it. But test your tap. You never know what's going on, especially after a big storm. Local uh, water treatment plants might dump extra chemicals into there to treat it. And all of a sudden, you're doing a routine water change, and your fish seem to be struggling, laboring to breathe. Uh, well, you just hit them with uh, a massive dose of ammonia or a massive dose of chlorine. Three things to keep in mind. I hope that helps. Certainly share your comments below about anything you think that we should all know about water that might help us to be better fish keepers. All right, and we'll talk about this and a whole lot more at the Saturday Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Hope to see you there. If you like the channel and you like the content, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit that bell and hit that thumbs up. We're creeping up on 50,000 subscribers. Can't wait to get there. And it's happening because of you, my friends. Thank you so much for that. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.